friends and happy Monday. So it is the beginning of a new week. It is getting brighter outside, which I'm so excited about. It is not getting any warmer, unfortunately, but what can we do about that? But yes, I have just arrived at work. It is 20 to nine, so I'm a little bit later than I usually would be. I would usually arrive at work at eight o'clock, but as you can see, I was showing you my morning routine this morning, so it took me a little bit longer to get organized for work. But to start my morning and to start my day, I'm going to look on my iPad on my Zinnia app to check what my plan is for the day. Not sponsored or anything, not an advert, but I use the Zinnia journaling app to just uh, make my weekly schedule. And I, on a Friday, like to plan for the week ahead, just so I come in on Monday and I don't have to sit and think, oh, what am I going to do today? I already know what I need to do, just look at my plan and we take it from there. So I'm going to look at the plan. I think we have to go into the lab first thing. I might check out some emails first and then we'll go into the lab. So I have been busy setting up this morning the SPEs of some of our river water samples. So this is an automated system which pulls through the samples from the bottles into the SPE columns. I conditioned the columns before we started loading up the samples, which basically just means you get the resin in here basically washed and um, equilibrated let's say with water before pulling water through and they will run now for the next couple of hours i'll just keep checking on them but now it's time for coffee it is 10 a.m so 10 a.m coffee break time so i've had my coffee break and i'm now at the lcms as you can see and last week i was running samples for our pfas analysis this week i need to run samples for pharmaceuticals pesticides and other different compounds but that uses a different column so i need to change over the column and all the lines before checking the mobile phases checking the samples and setting everything up to run so that's my next plan of attack phases I've topped up the washes and the mobile phases and now I have checked for leaks of the column there's no leaks so I'm going to run a standard just to make sure that everything is looking okay and then after that we can set it up to run the samples in the meantime I'm going to create the batch lists which is the list with all the sample names and the vial positions so the instrument knows where to take the sample from and hopefully the standard will come out okay and then we can run the samples before lunch I have been listening to a podcast the Mel Robbins podcast and I've been setting up my batch lists for the next few days I'm running the standard currently and it's almost time for lunch actually almost time for lunch at half 12 this is the progress of my bottles sucking up and loading onto the columns i'm just waiting for this one to finish and then i can go for lunch i have been back in the lab for a little while now for lunch i just had chili con carne from the canteen because i was not organized with lunch today usually i would bring my own lunch but not organized as we had a very busy 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 weekend now the some of the samples that i did the spe cleanup of last week I am going to reconstitute them in one mil of solvent and I'm going to filter them and put them into LCMS vials ready to run tomorrow.
My samples now need to dry under vacuum for 30 minutes, so I'm having a break. I would usually have coffee break at 3 p.m. anyway, so timing is good. But today I'm not being very sociable. I'm just going to sit in the office and have my tangerine and watch something and then go back to the lab. <laughs> and I'm leaving work. Sorry, that's the elevator. Leaving work now, going to the shop. Sorry, what I was trying to say was, before the elevator rudely interrupted me, is that I have finished work, it's half past four, and I'm going to go to the supermarket and grab some stuff to make dinner tonight because we were not very organized yesterday because we had a very very busy weekend also it's 4 30 and it's still light outside the brighter days are coming my friends brighter days are coming this makes me very very happy so i am back from the supermarket and i just thought i would show you my food shop quickly because it is very healthy so i got some of these light baby bells i was just craving them um a little cheese snack we've got steaks for tomorrow night's dinner Green beans, chicken for tonight's dinner, baby corn, sugar snap peas, tender stem broccoli, asparagus, parsnips, carrots, leeks, and celery because I'm making soup, as you can see from the chicken there. Um, some of the vegetables are for tomorrow night, some of the vegetables are for the soup, some of the vegetables are for Thursday night. So we're basically sorted for the week. Now I'm going to make the soup and then get changed and relax. Hello friends, it's actually the next day now because I forgot to end the vlog yesterday. When I went home after the supermarket, we ended up painting doors before dinner. So I was busy, busy, then we had dinner and then we just chilled for the evening. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little snapshot of what a typical day in the life looks like for me as a research scientist. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.